If I told you that a race car driver threw a bucket of Speedy Dry, cat litter if you will, at another car during a race, you're probably thinking there's only one place on earth that could happen. Bowman Gray Stadium, the madhouse in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and that's just exactly what happened on Saturday night when 10-time track champ Burt Myers took a five-gallon bucket of Speedy Dry and launched it at Chris Fleming. Apparently he was just done with Chris Fleming, brother of legend Frank Fleming. Take a look at it real quick. So here's a really good shot of Burt Myers coming into Chris Fleming's car and uh Wow. Big old thing. He took the whole bucket. I thought it was just a speedy drive, but he let the bucket go. That's why I ended that, up at the front of the Nerf board. You know that bucket was heavy, too. Right. Those, those are not light. Bowman Gray continues to, look, to deliver absolutely wild moments, things that not even script writers from the WWE could come up with. Nobody in their right mind would be like, you know what we should do this week? We should pick up a five-gallon bucket of speedy drive and launch it through the windshield of another car. Granted, modifieds don't have windshields. They just have that gate great on the front of it, whatever you want to call it, uh, to protect the drivers from debris flying at them. It will not protect you from five gallons of speedy drive being thrown into your face. And I think Chris Fleming kind of stops and looks around, and I'm sure he was completely baffled by it because he is now covered in kitty litter, something that you didn't expect to have happen during a race. So you're never going to find somebody that's going to come up with that idea. The only time that ideas like that come up are at Bowman Gray Stadium. The drivers at the Madhouse might be the most creative people in terms of payback that you've ever seen in motorsports or in sports in general. It's embarrassing at times, or all the time if we're being completely honest. Bowman Gray is basically the WWE of motorsports and it masquerades itself as, as racing, but it's absolutely not. It's entertainment and the fans there absolutely eat it up, which is totally fine. I'm glad that they are excited and they come out and they support auto racing because obviously those purses there do help send those guys off to other tracks around the southeast and other parts of the country. But at the same time, as, as a motorsport community, do we really want people throwing five-gallon buckets of Speedy Dry at other drivers on the track? And I would argue no. There's definitely people out there that are like, this is the most badass thing ever, certain sect of Twitter, all of Facebook probably thinks that this is the greatest thing on earth. But at the same time, it's not a great look and it's probably pretty dangerous as well because five gallon buckets of speed drive, not exactly the lightest thing in the world. On the contrary, I guess it's probably better that he didn't do what Bowman Gray typically does, which is drive across the infield, uh, which is a football field, when it's not a racetrack, thanks to the Winston-Salem State or something like that. Not 100% sure what the name of the college is. Either way, they'll drive across the infield there and just absolutely T-bone another car. And that's typical Bowman Gray nonsense. Everybody, nobody comes for the racing action. Everybody comes for the entertainment value and to see what kind of bullshit's gonna happen this week, which is fine. It's one way to do it. It's an entertainment product for sure. But I mean, at some point, maybe we're like, hey, you can run into the back of people, destroy your car. I don't really care about that. It's embarrassing, but maybe we're not just like taking a bucket from the safety workers that are trying to clean up an incident and hurling it at another competitor as they drive by. Not a great look. Toss your helmet, sure. Throw your steering wheel, fine. Maybe don't do that. Plus, it just added more time for the cleanup. Not only do they have to get Burt Myers' broken down race car off the track and whatever fluid it drives, now they've got a five gallon bucket of speedy dry that's just in the middle of the racing line. Well, actually probably not the racing line because it was towards the inside of the track. I, it's, they still gotta clean it up. And I think that's the part where it's like, well, you just added to the time here because you threw a bit of a hissy fit. And he's a 10 time track champ, so maybe he can get away with it. But if you watch the Madhouse docu-series on History Channel, probably back in like 2011, if I'm thinking off the top of my head, 2010, somewhere in that range, you know just how crazy it can be. And even without the cameras there for the TV show, it's still an absolutely batshit crazy racetrack. Week in and week out, fans pack into that football stadium and they have their favorite drivers. They have the drivers that they like. The ones that they don't like, they're gonna be standing down on the rail, leaning over, flipping them the bird, yelling the most obscene things ever at them while a five-year-old sits next to them and they're like, this is amazing, daddy. And then that's just the next generation that grows up to do the same thing that they're dads did and their forefathers and they just become these belligerent uh race well bowman gray fans i'm gonna call them bowman gray fans not race fans and that's just what they think it is which is fine and maybe that's just what it is in winston-salem i guess i had to get down there for a race uh at the madhouse i need to see what this is all about in real life and see if it's just as crazy 
as it appears on Flow every week. And if you have Flow Racing, good news, you can watch Bowman Gray's weekly series, including the Modified series, every Friday night or Saturday night, whatever time data that they decide to run, and see all of this nonsense for yourself. Either way, not what I expected to see come out of Bowman Gray, because I don't think we've ever seen that before. I've seen a kid in karting throw, you know, the body piece of the cart at somebody. We've seen helmets get thrown. We've seen uh, heel protectors get thrown, steering wheels, all of that nonsense. Never have I ever seen a five-gallon bucket of Speedy Dry get thrown at another competitor. It's a new one for me. It's like a baseball player throwing a uh, Gatorade cooler out onto the field, uh, except this was out another race car. So, something new always happens, and that's why we keep going back to the racetrack, even if it might just be for... Uh, some sort of wrestling that looks like it should be taking place in a high school gymnasium. So, like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram, Twitter, and Threads at BreakHardBlog.